We already discussed that LLMs undergo a process called training, which basically involves feeding them with large amounts of text data so that they can learn from the patterns, update their neural network parameters, and generate meaningful responses, right? Now, all modern LLMs use three training phases, which are super intuitive to understand. Phase one is called language pre-training, where they're taught how to understand and generate language, and how that's done is by feeding them a large number of sentences, but skipping out some words or phrases and allowing them to predict these missed words. The idea here is that they start learning the language structure, right? But even after this, they're not yet ready to perform tasks and they're basically just fill in the blank machines. That's when we move on to phase two called instruction fine tuning. In this stage, the LLM is provided with a bunch of instructions. For instance, can you answer this question for me? Or can you summarize this paragraph for me? And you also provide it with the expected answers or ideal answers. And it basically generates these answers for the instructions, checks with the expected output, and again, updates its neural network parameters and gets better at understanding instructions and performing them. So now that we have an LLM that can perform tasks for us, but what if the LLM generates something that's boring or you know, generates responses that humans don't really like? That's why we have phase three called reinforcement learning. This phase basically focuses on refining the LLM's responses to align with human preferences. It's very similar to phase two, but instead of providing exact outputs for the model to learn from, in this stage, you basically assign scores or rewards based on how well these answers match with human liking, right? Using these rewards, the LLM identifies which generation pattern received higher rewards versus low rewards and updates its parameters accordingly to align with what we humans like. 